Hi guys and welcome back for another math lesson. Itong video na to ay ang continuation ng ating lesson on illustrating events and the union and intersection of events. If you haven't watched the part 1 of this video, I will include the link on the description box. So our topic for today is all about the union and intersection of events. To be more specific, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw ay ang intersection of events. Ano nga bang tinatawag natin intersection of events? By definition, intersection of events is a set that contains all of the elements that are in both events. Sa madaling salita, ang intersection of events ay isang set kung saan makikita ang mga common o magkakamukhang element ng dalawa o higit pang events. So, the intersection of events X and Y is written as X intersection of Y. So, heto yung Venn diagram natin when we are dealing with intersection of events. Kung saan ang shaded portion ng Venn diagram ay ang tinatawag natin intersection. Para mas maintindihan nyo pa ng maigi, let us have illustrative examples. Example number one. A die is tossed and the sample space is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let X be the event that an even number happened, and Y be the event that a number greater than 3 happens. Sa problem na to, we will be finding the intersection of X and Y. Para masagutan natin ang problem na to, ang una nating step ay dapat nating malaman Kung ano anong element nga ba meron si set X at si set Y. Going back dun sa condition, we know na ang X ay ang event that an even number happens. Alam natin na when we talk about even number, these are the numbers that are divisible by 2. That means from our sample space, X has an element of 2, 4, and 6. How about sa ating set Y? So, sabi sa set Y, it is an event that a number greater than 3 happens. Going back sa ating sample space, we know that the numbers greater than 3 are 4, 5, and 6. After nating ma-identify ang elements na meron kay X at ang elements na meron kay Y, we can now finally find the intersection of the two sets. Looking at their elements, Makikita natin na ang common sa kanilang dalawa ay ang mga elements na 4 and 6. So that means, ang intersection ng ating x and y has an element of 4 and 6. Illustrative example number 2. A fair die is wrong. The sample space is s being equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let x be equal to the event that an odd number turns up, and y be equal to the event that the number turns up is greater than 3. So the first thing na gagawin ulit natin is to determine the elements of x and y. Going back to the condition of x, we know na ang inahanap natin ay mga odd numbers from the sample space. And when we say odd numbers, these are the numbers that are not divisible by 2. That means, ang elements ni x ay 1, 3, and 5. On the other hand, ang condition naman ni y ay mga numbers greater than 3. Going back sa ating sample space, we know that numbers greater than 3 are 4, 5, and 6. Since the problem is asking, about the intersection of x and y, that means, i-identify lang natin ang elements na common sa dalawang sets. So, x intersection of y is equal to 5. Illustrative example number 3. Given na ang ating universal set, which is denoted by u, has an element of numbers 1 to 10. Set X has an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. While set Y has an element of 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. 
find the intersection of x and y and illustrate it using a Venn diagram. Mapapansin natin that the common or the same numbers na makikita kay x and y ay ang 2, 3, 4, and 6. That means, x intersection of y has an element of 2, 3, 4, and 6. Let us now illustrate it using a Venn diagram. So the first thing that we need to do ay magdadraw tayo ng malaking rectangle to represent the universal set. Since we are dealing with intersection of events, that means yung dalawang circle natin sa loob ay may overlapping na parts. Sa overlapping parts ng ating Venn diagram, ilalagay natin yung mga elements na common sa kanilang dalawa, which are 2, 3, 4, and 6. Then, ilalagay natin yung mga natirang elements ni x, which is 1 and 5. At ang mga natirang elements ni y, which is 7, 8, 9, and 10. So, ganito natin i-illustrate ang Venn diagram ng dalawang sets. Take note that the cardinality of the union of two disjoint sets x and y is given by this expression. Ang cardinality ng x union of y ay equal sa sum ng cardinality ng x at ng cardinality ng y. Example, given that x has an element of 1, 2, and 3, and y has an element of 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Let us find the cardinality of x, the cardinality of y, and the cardinality of x union of y. When we talk about cardinality, ito ay ang bilang ng element sa isang set. So that means, ang cardinality ng x natin ay 3 at ang cardinality naman ng y natin ay 5. So para malaman natin ang cardinality ni x union of y, ia-add lang natin yung cardinality ni x plus yung cardinality ni y with that will give us 8. Since we are dealing with disjoint sets, ganito natin i-illustrate ang kanyang Venn diagram. Note number 2. The cardinality of the union of two finite sets x and y that are not disjoints can be solved using the given expression. So yung cardinality ng x union of y ay equal sa sum ng cardinality ni x at cardinality ni y minus sa cardinality ng intersection nilang dalawa. Take note na gagamitin lang natin ito kung ang pinag-uusapan natin ay disjoint sets. Example, given that W has an element of 1, 2, 3, 4, and 9, X has an element of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and Y has an element of 3, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, hanapin daw natin ang cardinality ng union of W, X, and Y. And then illustrate it using a Venn diagram. First, i-identify muna natin ang cardinality ni W, X, and Y. Ang cardinality ni W ay 5, while ang cardinality ni X ay 7, at ang cardinality naman ni y ay 10. Then afterwards, kukunin natin ang cardinality ng intersection ng ating tatlong sets. Since nahanap na natin ang cardinality ng intersection ng tatlong sets, we can now find the cardinality of the union of w, x, and y gamit yung ating formula. The cardinality of w, union of x, union of y is equal to the cardinality of w plus the cardinality of x plus the cardinality of y minus the cardinality of w intersection of x minus the cardinality of y intersection of x minus the cardinality of x intersection of y plus the intersection of the three sets. That will give us 5 plus 7, plus 10, minus 3, minus 2, minus 4, plus 2. Performing the indicated operations, it will give us the cardinality of 15. 
So ganito natin i-illustrate ang kanilang Venn diagram. Now try this activity. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.